How would you react if I told you that there's a YouTuber who only posted 4 videos, one of which exceeded the million view mark and grew his channel to almost 100,000 subscribers in just 9 months? You'd most likely question what I'm saying. Which is why I decided to analyze Isaac's editing style and break it down to these 5 simple steps. So in today's video, you'll be watching me edit an entire video in the Isaac editing style from scratch. And by doing so, you learn how to edit faceless videos just like Isaac. Let's dive right in. If you've watched any Isaac videos, then you know that one thing stands out. And it's these characters that pop up and move across the screen. So before we even get into the editing side of things, let's first create these characters. To do this, we'll hop into Photoshop, and create an empty canvas, and make sure it's 1080 by 1080. Next, we'll go to our search engine of choice and search for stock images of men. Then, we'll drag whichever one we like into Photoshop. Click on this tool over here and select the background. Then simply click backspace and delete the background. Now we've got an image of a man with no background. Next up, we'll drag in our profile picture, click this tool up here and make a circle while holding down shift and we'll go ahead and press Control shift i and delete everything outside of our selection with all that done you'll have a character that you can now animate and to make this even easier on you i've put together a file full of 10 stock images where all you gotta do is drag them into photoshop and put your profile picture on top just click the link down below and we'll go ahead and send it over but now that we've got a bunch of characters to animate let's head straight into premiere pro and start editing the majority of you already know how to do this, so we'll make this quick. To remove these gaps of silences in the video, I simply create a cut right here after I stop talking and one before the next time I start talking. And then just delete what's in between. Now go ahead and do that for the rest of the video. Now, since this whole recording is just a voiceover, now go ahead and overlap these cuts just like this to get a smoother cut. And once again, do that for the rest of the video. Enough basic stuff, let's get straight into the editing. For this first section, I'll try to mimic this entry. My shorts channel has over 20 million views and many viral videos. And here's what I recorded. My shorts channel has over 20 million views. So when I mentioned my channel, I dragged in an image of my channel. Then when I mention the view count, I'll have a screenshot of the view count. And when I talk about other videos, I'll also have a picture of the other videos that I have made. Now it's time to add graphics that highlight the section of the image that I'm speaking about. So when I mention my channel, I'll add this rectangle graphic to highlight my channel and add a glow to it. Then to highlight the view count, I'll add this circle animation on the view count and add a glow. And lastly, for the other videos, we'll have this graphic animation to highlight. Now I'll nest the graphics and the screenshots together because it's now time to add in our animations. The concept here is to zoom in on the areas that I'm speaking of. The first thing I'll do is I drag in this basic 3D effect. And for this clip, I keyframe the pivot to the top left corner where my channel is located. Then brought it back to the center with this clip and had it pivot to the left side with this last clip. Once we're done with the pivoting, we'll now take care of the zoom ins and the movement. Drag in your transform effect. Don't forget to bump up the shutter angle we will start by keyframing our position and scale and zooming into my channel on the first clip here then we'll keyframe another movement from here over to where the view count is in our next clip and lastly another movement to show all the videos here on the left side and with that out of the way this is what our effects panel should look like and this is what you should end up with my shorts channel has over 20 million views and many viral videos we're left with one last step and that is to animate some characters on top of this whole animation i'll start this by dragging in an image of me pointing to my channel and since i've already made an animation preset for these characters, I'll simply drag it on. I'll tell you where you can find this in just a second. Then I'll add this other character as the second picture on the screen and once again drag on another pop-up preset. And I'll lastly add in this final character and have him point to the videos on the left side. And this is what you'll end up with. My shorts channel has over 20 million views and many viral videos. Now for this section, I decided to create this animation. So in this video, I will try to create a short completely from scratch. Get at least 1 million views and show how much money I made from it. I won't go into too much detail but here's how I did it. I dragged in this thumbnail and rotated it 90 degrees. I then dragged in my short and extended it for the length of the animation. Then I dragged in this text from Premiere Composer, changed the font to Rubik and wrote out 1 million views and topped it off with a nice VR glow. Then I dragged in this number counter animation and added a glow to that as well. And lastly I added these three icons and dragged in a pop-up animation on all three of them and created this animation to have them disappear behind a short form content. Alright, I know it's getting hectic, we just have one last. I nested the whole sequence and added in my basic 3d effect now as i'm talking about the views i added in a keyframe for a tilt towards that text and then had the video tilt back up to the number counter smoothed it out and then added a transform effect then created this rotation animation then simply added a zoom in to the 1 million views when i mention it and one last movement for the numbers increasing on the screen and after all that this is the final result we will end up with in this video i will try to create a short completely from scratch get at least 1 million views and show how much money i made from it
If you're someone who would like to learn to edit like Isaac, then you're gonna like my new online video editing community. This is Ultimate Editors. This cool community was made to be the only subscription you'll need as a video editor. How is that, you might ask? Well, for starters, we offer over 80 courses on video editing alone. The first three modules are aimed at teaching you everything about video editing. And by completing these three modules, our members were fully equipped with everything they needed to know to dive into learning new editing styles. Which is where you can dive into four different modules and over 40 courses that teach you the Devin Jatho editing style, the Ali Abdal editing style, the Alex Hormozzi editing style, and even the Isaac editing style. In these detailed masterclasses, you learn all the editing concepts that these creators like to use and edit alongside me to master their editing style. And to top it all off, you'll get a complete masterclass on how to edit videos like me, where I take you by the hand and edit a complete video of mine together. And this is already over $1,500 worth of information. But we didn't stop there. We also provide weekly online Q&A calls to help you personally and answer any questions that you might have. And we provide the presets and plugins that I personally use to edit these high quality videos. And all of this comes together to form the Ultimate Editors Package. So if you'd like to join Ultimate Editors, go ahead and click the link down in the description below and join for only $47 a month. And we're really considering increasing the price, so I personally suggest that you join while it's only $47 a month. But with this all being said, let's get back to the video. Now for the rest of the video, we'll follow the same sequence once more. Add the screenshots, graphics, nested, animations, and characters. With this plan in mind, I got straight to work. And this ended up taking really long, so I won't be able to show you every little step, but you can find it all on Ultimate Editors. Over here, I mentioned my channel, so I dragged in a screenshot of that. Then, added in a circular graphic to highlight the profile. Then, I nested it and added our 3D animations and zoom in animations. And this was really easy because it was all presets. And lastly, I added a character and slapped on an animation preset. But for this next section, I decided to mimic this animation segment. This is the viral recipe I've been using to make my shorts. Even though it helped me get some viral shorts before, it's not as effective anymore. So I dragged in some animated text and wrote out the words, my viral recipe. Added this graphic and added the glow to it. So then I dragged in another animated text and changed the text to show my first tip. And I simply duplicated that for the other four texts. So then I nested it and made it really small and I added these three shorts again and placed them on the left side. Then I added this text and changed it to a big view count. Changed the color to green and did the same thing for the other two shorts. Then I nested the first short and its text, nested the second one and the third one and added a pop-up preset to each one. And with that out of the way, we have already finished the left side, now onto the right side. I duplicated the three shorts to the right side and copied the same Text, but changed the view count to something way low and did the same thing to the other two videos. Nested the whole thing and added a pop-up from bottom. And as for the cherry on top, we gotta finish it off properly. So we nested the whole animation, added the transform effect and started my clip off on the text area. Then had it move to the left and show the three short form videos. And lastly, moved it to the right to show the last three shorts. With all that finished up, this is the final result we end up with the viral recipe I have been using to make these shorts. Even though it helped me get some viral shorts before, it's not as effective anymore. As for this section where I talk about the Google Trends website, head over to Google Trends. I added a screenshot of the website, added this rectangle graphic on top of it, and as usual, nested it, added the movement animation, which were a zoom in to the top left, and added an animated character on top of it all. But check this out. In this next section, I had to showcase a Google Trends graph, and overlaid it with this arrow effect that we had, and changed the blending mode to difference for this cool effect. Lastly, I added these two characters, and added a cross dissolve as a transition in between and nested the whole thing then animated them moving from the right to the left and matched the peak of the animation with the point at which it transitions to get this result and then for the rest of the video i kept on adding more images graphics movements characters animations and repeat images graphics movements character animations and this is what we finally end up with my shorts channel has over 20 million views and many viral videos, but my recent shorts aren't really doing well. So in this video, I will try to create a short completely from scratch, get at least 1 million views and show how much money I made from it. This is my shorts channel, and this is the viral recipe I have been using to make these shorts. Even though it helped me get some viral shorts before, it's not as effective anymore. So I'll head over to Google Trends and look to see what's popular these days. And with all the animations out of the way, it was finally time to do the sound design. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. First, I sipped on some editor fuel and got myself ready for work. To break this down, the sound design was split into three stages. First, we had to sound design all the movements. So to do this, I'd look for movements like this one over here and find the peak of the animation or the point with the most motion blur and align a whoosh sound effect like this one to the peak of the animation. You can see me doing it over here as well. I watch the clip, find the peak of the animation, drag in a whoosh, align it to the peak. And I did this to the rest of the timeline until the whole thing was full of whoosh sound effects. Then we moved on to stage two, which was texture.
textured sound effects. This was where we add clicks, clacks, keyboards, bings, bangs, everything. So for graphic effects like these, we added the digital click sound effect from Motion Bro. For arrows like these, we added the data sound effects from Motion Bro. For the numbers counting up, we used the data counting sound effect from Motion Bro. Then a few keyboard clicks, paper crumbles, and bell sound effects, and our timeline was looking nice and complete. Which is where we moved on to our final stage, stage 3, where we added risers and hit sound effects. Riser and hit sound effects are used to build up anticipation, so we used one in this section where we were stressing repetitiveness. Then we used one here with the counter to anticipate the build up to the next scene. Then we added one last one as we were revealing the final results. And at this point, I was ready to export and be done with the whole thing. However, we had one final step and it was the music. So we added some battle music for the intro to keep the viewer excited. Then we added some documentary music to this bridge section to build curiosity. And lastly, we finished it off with some dramatic violin as if it was a fight between you, the main character and the final boss. And after all this heavy labor, we are finally finished. Ladies and gentlemen, I know I didn't show you the full process, but you gotta understand, this took me five hours to create, and this is about as much as I could fit into a 10 minute video. Now at last, let's go ahead and enjoy the final product together. My shorts channel has over 20 million views and many viral videos, but my recent shorts aren't really doing well. So in this video, I will try to create a short completely from scratch, get at least 1 million views and show how much money I made from it. This is my shorts channel, and this is the viral recipe I have been using to make these shorts. Even though it helped me get some viral shorts before, it's not as effective anymore. So I'll go and do some research on what works now. I'll be back soon. So I'll head over to Google Trends and look to see what's popular these days. Once again, thank you so much for watching and tuning back into another one of these videos. If you made it this far, go ahead and comment down below a random word like uh, tree. And if you're someone who wants to master video editing or make money online, go ahead and check out Ultimate Editors down below. Thanks a lot for everything, guys. God bless all of you. And I'll see you guys in the next upload. All right. Just before I leave, you guys already know this. You could pick one of these two videos. Usually, I'll leave the, the nice one on the left side. This time, I'm going to reverse it and I'm going to put this...